Hola, Facebook world. I just jumped in before and did the wrong live in the wrong space. So anyone who see me pop up, you'll have a chuckle. Ah, uh, today is a beautiful rainy day. Why do I love rainy days? Because my hair reminds me just how rebellious I love to be. Apparently my hair symbolizes the inner rebellion in me. Ugh. Anyway, so on topic, um, before I get into this space, what I wanted to speak about was a good friend of mine brought to my awareness that yesterday was National Bullies Day. Did anybody know that? Uh, did anybody have anything to do with that? Um, so there's National Bullies Day in Australia, which is really amazing. I didn't actually realize until my girlfriend brought it to my awareness. And she said it was funny it came into context after she had listened to one of my lives where I had actually spoken about how what I'm talking about here is trying to bring about more or greater awareness, greater understanding of each other and take away expectations, take away obligations, take away judgment of each other, taking away um, unrealistic ideals. And what I'm actually working on, funnily enough, we have a lot of people contacting me wanting to do work in schools with children. Not at that level yet, that's coming, but not really my strength right now. But what the main dominant thought of that would be is to bring about more awareness for people, for children, the indifferences and enable each other to understand our geniuses and where our weaknesses is actually someone else's strength and bring about this whole community vibe of, hey, this is my strength. How can I assist you? Because I can see that I am better or I am more equipped. I'm more in alignment with this side of things but I can see that you may need some assistance in that. So that's kind of where there, there was a hidden part of that in me that I was wanting people to understand with these videos is that, hey, Belinda, was that um, the objective is to take away segregating people and more about enabling you to understand each other and understand your quirkiness, understand your genius, understand your Maybe your limitations, but not as limitations because you, you're amazing at other things. It's understanding that what is natural to you is your God-given strength. And what is not natural to you is someone else's. doesn't mean that you're less. doesn't mean that you are below that. It means that you are human with your own genius and your own talents. And what I hope is within giving you guys these cool videos is that you are understanding a little more of what those differences are and how you can make peace with those. Hey, Janelle, you can make peace with those and actually step into your greatness and drop the rest, drop the crap, drop the things that don't serve you. Stop trying to be the things that aren't you. Stop trying to do the things that are not natural for you and start being more of the things that are just aligned to your DNA, to your genetic core. You can be fucking amazing. That's my last swear word. Sorry. Um, <laughs> hey, everybody's jumping on. So I was just talking a bit about National Bullies Day, which was yesterday. So yeah, I really hope the context of what I'm sharing in these different lives um, will enable you guys to just gain a little bit more perspective and maybe a little bit more um, compassion for each other. So getting into connectors today. So connectors are at the top of our wheel of our health types. And I don't actually have one here with me, but I will share it. Um, at the top of our wheel of our health types. And these ones are favorite color yellow because they're all about the sun. They're all about outdoors. And they, they're, their token animal is like a puppy dog. So who are those friends of yours that you know that will quite often, and I can tell them when I walk into a room because I'm tall. And so a lot of them will either be like, they'll look me up and down and they suss out my energy and they're like, who are you? What are you about? Have you got integrity? Are you a good person? Friend. <laughs> Who's got their friend that you're like, they're, they're, they'll, be, they'll be quite quiet in a big crowd sometimes until they find their space, until they find their energy. And these are the people that need to be around people. If these people are alone too much, it's bad for your health. These are the people that actually naturally regroup, regain their energy, regain their vitality by being around other epic humans. So making sure they're around good humans is a good thing. They're also the kind of people that would become 
a different version of themselves via osmosis. Does that make sense? So the people you hang around, these are the, like, you know that saying of like, you are the five people you hang around with? Connectors, it's true. Like so much, so true. So if you can see a connector who's like totally out of like sync, have a look at their friends around them and see what people they're hanging out with and, uh, and maybe have that loving conversation of like, hey, start hanging out with some more people like this and they might bring you into a better space. They're not sheep. They're not followers. There's nothing bad about that. They are just the energizer bunny who are just so loving and so compassionate and very empathic, very empathic people um, because they feel and that's where they can trip up because sometimes they will feel the other person's stuff and take it on board themselves without realizing that that's their problem. I get to just be me and that's okay. And that uh, they like to make sure that everyone's happy. So they're very close to a guardian um, and they're very close to an activator. They can be either side close to the activator and the guardian. And what that means is that they can, they can be a little bit more oxytocin based. So they can be a bit more compassionate and caring, or they can be more reactive and firing and, and, um, and very much, um, argumentative and challenging. Our connectors can also be the kind of people that, um, they will just argue for the sake of it. They'll say no first. They're like, no, I don't believe you. And they'll go in, they'll think about it and they'll think about it. And then suddenly they'll be like, okay, tell me more. Tell me more. What are you talking about? I, I want to know more. So at first their natural re reaction is to be like, no, don't believe you, whatever. I don't, I don't trust it. I don't want to know about it. But then if you stay in your integrity and you remain as the good human that you are, these people will definitely come around. So in the workplace, our connectors are the cute little fun ones. They've normally got all the quirky little ornaments, all the colorful little doodads. They'll have like all the big earrings or they'll have some, they'll find some way to creep the color into your life um, and into the workspace, especially. They love finding ways of, um, they love finding ways of, I'm just trying to see the comments. Sorry guys. They love finding ways of making the, 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 work in space more pleasurable they feel everyone's stuff remember they're empathic so they feel everyone's stuff and they're, they're constantly trying to uh help others feel better it can be to their detriment um in some ways of uh they will quite often be a little not overweight they can be a little chubbier they've got wonderful thighs um and this can be because they are holding more energy. So if you thought of like a, a Victoria's Secret model and everyone tries to compare themselves to a Victoria's Secret model, ugh. but the Victoria's Secret models are really only one or two health types. It's the sensors and some activators. Now these girls don't have it in them to be the life of the party. They have to use stimulants or they have to use artificial things um, Thank you, Hama. I'm glad you don't like hypocrites. Um, they have to use they have to use things. They have to use extra substances to enable them to be energetic and as uh, high energy as a connector. Whereas a connector is just naturally born to be so much fun and there's so much energy and we love them. We love them so much. So our connectors in the workspace can be doing that. They can be the fun ones. They're great at multitasking. They are great at organizing. And some of them like things to be in their place. Some of them like a floor drope, but some of them really can be in that space where they're like, no, I'll help you make, I actually hired a connected girlfriend of mine to come and help me sort out my office and my um, wardrobe because they were totally a mess, totally a mess. And so I knew that she loved organizing things like that was her jam. It was, she was in her element, but she wanted me to be there with her. Like she loved that whole like chit chatty and, and, and organizing and multitasking. And we'd have four conversations at once. Um, and she, she loved that energy. So understand in the workplace, these guys rock at multitasking. They rock at making things pretty. They rock at, at, um, at seeing how the other people might feel about this concept. So, you know, they'll, they'll help make things, um, not so linear. Then we have them in relationships. Connectors are beautiful in relationships, but it can be, again, their own demise when they are a bit too empathic and care too much about the other person. Sometimes they also are. So they're also, this comes in with the, the disc profiling as well. So these ones are definite yellows. Um, they'll quite often need a lot more reassurance. Um, sadly, they are the ones that will, in a relationship, they will need to be told they are beautiful. They will need to be told that they are gorgeous and they are skinny or whatever it is they need to hear. You need to pep them up in that way because they just need the love. They need to know that they are loved, that they are worthy, that they are seen, that they are uh, attractive, whatever, because 
they give so much to other people, but they want other, and they want other people to feel that, but they also need that, that f- fulfilled for them immensely for them to be capable of giving to other people. Um, but they are definitely the lovers, the nurturers. Absolutely. As a movie character or a superstar, um, these guys, movie characters, they're actually the, the jester, they're, they're the comedian. So if you look into today's society, you've got guys like Tom Gleason, um, Tahari, you've got Judith Lucy, you've got Limo. These comedians are all connectors. I'm not quite sure about Kitty. I'm still, I'm still not 100% sure about Kitty. Uh, and I'm pretty sure Hamish and Andy, one of them is actually a connector as well. So they're the funny ones. They love to entertain people. In school, they were a bit of a rat bag, probably. They probably had short attention spans. Uh, they needed variety. They needed a lot of coaxing. Sadly, these guys are the ones that have the, the early onset of figure dysmorphia sort of things. Like, these are the ones that seem to feel like they have to be something. They have to be a stature. They may turn out to be the, the bitchy one in school because they want to be at a certain level. You know, like they want to be in the cool kids. So they might do the thing that does hurt them. When they hurt the other people, they hurt. So then it becomes a spiral out of control because they're sitting there in pain because they made someone else feel pain because they really, 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 really want to be with the cool kids. Do you get it? So um, in school, they, they could be a bit naughty, but some of them, some of them love certain subjects. Like they become so engrossed within it, they become fanatical. Uh, but they usually were the quirky kid that had the colours and the cool things and they were, they were super silly, but maybe they didn't have the normal communication skills. Like these are the guys that don't do awkward silence as well. They have to talk and talk and talk. <laughs> In fun situations, I think I've already covered that. These guys are like the fun ones. When it comes to money stories, some of them can be, and this, this is why I love you, you are all so specific. What I'm giving you here is such a broad spectrum. But um, in specifics, you get to understand that some of you are actually great at organising. So remember I said organising? Some of our connectors are freaking amazing at doing up um, uh, budgets. They're great at budgeting because they like to see where it all sits and they, they would have a different colour for every different thing that they need. You know, they'd have this amazing wham-bam, like, money chart that would just look phenomenal, put everyone to shame. Um, but they, some of them will have money stories, so they can be a little bit splurgy. So they can be like, I want to have that pretty dress, so I'll spend lots of money. Or it's the new shiny object syndrome. So they will go and spend stupid amounts of money on the shiny object syndrome. These are the guys that I have to remind when they come into the health world with me is that we're just going to do this for six weeks. Just this one thing for six weeks and we're going to see how that happens before you go trying something else. So I'm sure you probably have that friend that's like, I'm trying this and now I'm trying this and now I'm over there and now I'm over here and like a puppy dog. Um... Food habits. Again, sadly, these guys can end up falling into many traps of believing that they have to be something else than what they are. So it's a constant nurture and love relationship with these guys and, and letting them know that they are f- gorgeous just as they are. They are freaking amazing humans and we love them so much. Get it? So their food habits can quite often be a little bit um, disturbed uh, or disruptive. Um, because they might be on the next trend and on the next trend and on the next trend. I just want to be skinny. I just want to be liked. But what I have found is many of them end up in things like veganism or something like that because they realize that they're around a whole cool bunch of people because, remember, it's about the interaction throughout the people. So they'll be hanging out with, they'll be choosing their diet based on the cool people they're going to go hang out with. And that's nothing bad, nothing bad at all. But it is just a reminder that, these guys can fall into that trap. So just bringing our beautiful connectors back into what is best for you and we're just going to do the short-term fun thing right here and try to make everything fun for them. I bet many of you are thinking about your children now, now, right now going, oh, that makes a little bit of sense about my little ones because a lot of them, they just need the, the variety. They need the reassurance. So that's our connector health types. Um, their language is all about the feelings and the doings and the fun. That's the fourth F word I think that needs to come in there. The feelings and the fun. The feelings and the fun. They just want to feel good. They want to have fun. They want to do all the stuff blah, 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 and talk all day. <laughs> so um, I would love to hear if you resonated with the beautiful connectors. Um, I'm going to shorten this up and have a quick look at the comments. Oh, hey, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all tuning in. Oh, thank you, Michael. It's been a long time since I've spoken to you. 
Um, Zena, thanks, Dwayne. I try, I try. I feel like I'm wearing my Zena outfit today. Um, so yeah, so I hope you've resonated with one of the health types. If today you were like, what the fudge is she talking about? Go back and have a look. I have got a series of videos I've done each day, one video each day um, with the same heading. Um, and I know what, it's a rainy day. I'm so sorry. I'm like dealing with Afro. Um, but yes, yeah, so please understand that, you know, each of these different health types is just a broad spectrum. If you want to know which one you are, if you're curious as to which one you are, reach out. I'll show you the program that's running and you can have a look and see if you want to know more. Have fun, guys. It's great. It's Saturday. I'm going to get off of here and get on to my next amazing job that I have lined out for myself because I love doing lots of things because I'm a diplomat.